Hello guys, this is Fu from Foxtech, and today I have a new thing to show you, and this is the Nimbus version 2 Vito. So, uh, what's the Vito? Vito can fly in a multi-copter mode, just to stay there like a multi-copter, flying, hover, uh, have the position hold mode, and also it can change, transfer itself into a fixed wing and fly at a very fast speed and go very long range in the air. So what you are seeing is a Nimbus version 2 Vito. It's a tricopter Vito. So it has uh, three propellers, uh, three motors. And uh, with the newly upgraded tilting mechanism, tilting servo essentially, and uh, with the newly upgraded system, the plane can hover there like a multi-copter in a much, much better stability. And also it helps to uh, compensate the wind to get a much better performance in the big wind. Wind. Okay, let me show you later about that feature. It's very, very important. So, what you are seeing is the fixed wing flying mode. And now I'm going to change to the multi-copter flying mode. And then it has, totally it has the six flying mode with the newly upgraded radio. And this one specially designed for the Vito, for the Nimbus, and also for other of our uh, flying state for the drones. So this is the drone A16, and I use this radio to control the Nimbus. Okay, so the Nimbus is still as the Euro, is still as this old version. It has a massive place, the massive space inside, so I can put in a lot of batteries, equipment, and other things inside. And what you are seeing here is a Nimbus loading, an Alpha 7R camera, full frame, and uh, it is uh, from Sony, also modified. Uh, the original camera with the lens is around uh, one kilograms. Clearly, it cannot be mounted on this uh, small plane, so we modified it, keeping the lens, keeping the sensor, and uh, just uh, keeping the best things inside. And now, the Alpha 7R and the 35 millimeter lens is now weights 300 grams only. So it's uh, quite possible to use this one to do mapping and uh, with a very high resolution and also very high precision. So uh, what you uh, do see here, also normally we, when we do mapping, also have uh, RTK system and also PPK system normally mounted right here and can be seen as a optional part. So we didn't put it here. Okay, here we what we see is a radio receiving antennas and this is the new radio, the DA16. New radio has data link built inside and also the radio link built inside. So uh, both the data link and also the radio link can reach a range of five kilometers. It's very long. And uh, somebody tested with the 10 kilometer range in the air, but I think it's in the ideal conditions. So normally we claim five kilometers with the default setting. And uh, also if you want a range booster, we also have it. We have the range booster with the frequency of eight 40 megahertz or the 900 megahertz with light and with the decent antenna your plane and then your mean uh, data and also your radio control can reach a range of 15 kilometers or even more than that somebody reached 14 kilometers i think is quite enough for this small plane so you can see we have the landing gear newly mounted uh, front landing gear also uh, the total plane weight now is around 4.6 only, 4.6 kilograms. So with the uh, very strong motors, even each, the maximum pulling force of each motor is already reaching 5. So it has no problem to lift all the three, uh, all the plane, including the payload and uh, in, even in a very strong wind conditions. Okay, talking about the wind, in the new version, we added a new feature, what we call it a wind resistant feature. That in the Q lighter, meaning the uh, multi-copter positioning mode, and also in auto mode, uh, during taking off and also landing stage, the two tilting motors will tilt to a certain level and to compensate the wind. That keeps your plane much, much stable and also giving you much better safety during the landing and also taking off stage. So with the newly upgrade motors, the maximum flying speed of this one can reach 35 meters per second. This is crazy. And the power consumption is huge, so we don't recommend that. And the, the average flying speed is 15 meters per second to 16 meters per second. 
land. So just to consider that if you flying in a high altitude, for example, 3,000 meters, you may want to change the cruising speed to 16 meters per second. And also the stall speed for this one is uh, around 10, maybe 11 and 12. It's very good stall speed. And you can just stay in the, in the air in a very, very gentle speed and just like that. And so the Nimbus has a lot of good features and also we added a lot of safety measures inside and if you lose one wing, for example, lose one of the hydrogen, lose one of the tail, the inner safety system can immediately change the plane into multi-copter to save it and you can try to land it without any problem. So this is one of the safety measure and also there's a tons of new features at the inside so I'm going to show you some flying videos in this part of in the second part of the video maybe. Okay talking about payload we already have the Alpha 7 r roof ring camera mounted but you can also choose other options like this. This is a FoxTech Map01. It is a very small camera and also with very decent performance and also the cheaper lens and cheaper body everything is uh, maybe uh, if you want to buy Alpha 7R, you can buy three or four of these. So this is also affordable mapping camera for you. And also you can load a maybe a zoom camera with a 3x gimbal. And just like that, just open your mind, use your imagination. There's a lot of possibilities available with the Nimbus. Okay, so uh, that's enough talking about the plane itself, but uh, what I want to show you is the radio. Radio is a very, very good one. So we just uh, used a new radio, a uh, new upgrade. The radio, like I said, it has a 5 kilometers data link and a radio link. And also, you can set 6 fly mode in it. You just uh, hear it. Cruise. Hover is an uh, altitude hold in the multi-copter mode, and uh, it's, it's a Q lighter that's like a position position hold for the multi-copter. Then we go to return to launch, auto fly mode. Lighter. Yeah, we have everything here. We have everything here. Just uh, by using a combination of the three stage switch and also a button right here. Okay, so the radio is a 16 channel radio. So meaning you can uh, control 16 channels on your plane. You know, uh, it has a knob right here. Okay, just like that. And uh, two switch and more switches right here and also we can see uh, four three position switches you can use it to control uh, maybe uh, taking a photo just like that you can do it yeah I can take photo now uh, or I can choose to use my uh, switches to do anything I need. Uh, for example, changing flying speed, changing uh, flying mode, or drop something, or do something else. Okay, just like I said, the radio has a 5 km data link range and also the radio link range. And if you want more range, we also have a range booster. And you can just take out the receiver and put it on a car roof. And with a range booster, it's based on the 900 MHz or 40 MHz. You can use a decent antenna and just the range will be boosted to 15 km or even longer than that. I heard somebody reach 40 km. Quite crazy. So, also one benefit to use uh, such a booster is that you just put the things as high as possible to get a very good signal, and also keeping the link between your receiver and the radio. The radio will use the Bluetooth function to send the data to your cell phone, so you can see um, all the parameters, settings, and everything on your cell phone, and also uh, you can use it on your laptop. The Bluetooth is one way, and there are other ways like uh, USB uh, or maybe a micro USB. You can use all of them to link the radio with your uh, laptop, computer, uh, cell phone, pad, everything. So it's a very, very convenient too. It just stay in the car, and you can monitor the status of your drone and fly and control it, and do everything you want. You don't need to. 
expose yourself in a very strong sunlight or very cold winter. No, 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 no. Just stay in the car, and you are a mapper. You can you can just do things in a more easy way. So this is the, uh, actually uh, my idea and my theory to give people a much easier to use tool, and also the much easier or uh, maybe a cozy way to do your job and stay in the car and making money. That's a very very happy life. Okay, so. This is a brief introduction about Nimbus Vito version 2. And actually, we just talk about less than 10% of these features. So, uh, I guess you don't want to hear me to say too long about the features, everything, just maybe uh, when they go out and fly. So, I can also show you some flying videos with the new radio, with the Nimbus new features. Maybe also we can show you some protection map, which we did with the Alpha 7R full frame camera and also the Vito. And then with a very high precision if we mount a PPK and also RTK system. So this is full from Foxtech. If you like this one, everything you can find on our website, the foxtechfpv.com. And if you also like our website, YouTube, Facebook, and also other social platforms, you can just try to subscribe to us. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.